All right, everybody, I'm feeling a lot of auto worker energy up here. So much energy, it's feeding back on me. But listen, um, I met Donald Trump in this very building eight years ago on September 30th in 2016. He was not the president yet, but I told him how he could become the president. True story. I was getting my picture taken backstage, and when it was my turn, he looked over at me, and as I was walking towards him, I said, Mr. Trump, we have the keys to the White House waiting for you in Macomb County. And he's got a good sense of humor, and he started laughing. He goes, oh, yeah, how's that? And I said, well, Macomb County's the home of the Reagan Democrats. Now, for those of the, you that don't know, the Reagan Democrats kind of refers to these guys behind me, right? For decades, the auto workers traditionally had voted Democrat because they were told by their union leadership that the Democrats would protect their jobs. Well, how'd that work out for them? Not so good. So around the time of Ronald Reagan, the auto workers started waking up and realizing that the Democrats had been lying to them. Their UAW leadership was corrupt and they were in bed with the Democrat Party. So I told Mr. Trump, if you come to Macomb County and you ask for the Reagan Democrat support and you get it, you might win Macomb County big enough to carry the whole state of Michigan. I said, that's right. Listen, you can clap. We got to win Michigan. I told him, Mr. Trump, if you win Michigan, we both know what that means. And I could almost see the light bulb go on over his head. He turned to his aides who were standing off to the side, and he said, when we come back to Michigan, can we go to Macomb County? And he pointed at me. And for those of you that are not from Macomb County, I'm telling you, there's railroad tracks that run north and south through the county. And on either side of those railroad tracks, all the way north and south, are auto plants. That's where they're all at. There's eight or ten of them. I said, if you come to Macomb County and ask for the Reagan Democrats support and you get it, you might win Michigan big enough to carry the whole state. Well, guess what? That's exactly what he did. He came in on that Sunday before the Tuesday election. We packed 15,000 people into Freedom Hill, whose venue is only 7,500, but it's a hill. It's an outdoor amphitheater. We got 15,000 people in there. A lot of them were UAW members, retirees, and auto worker families. And two days later, he made history. So the reason I'm telling you my story is because this year, it's your story. Because we're in the same building I was in when I talked to him eight years ago, and he's gonna ask you to do the same thing this year. Go home, talk to all your friends, your family, make sure you're texting them, connecting with them, get them to the polls, educate them, tell them that we have nine days early voting now, and this Saturday, we can start voting, right? Early voting in person, it's not absentee. So every one of you has the power. Now I told him a story that day, he realized what I was saying. He came to Macomb County and asked for the auto workers' support. He got it, and he became president. And I'm asking you to do the same thing today. Get out and get all your friends and family to vote. Every one of them have to go to the polls and vote in person early. Thank you very much.